in this video, I'm going to show you uh, one of the easiest or the laziest ways to take a petri dish that is colonized and turn it into a liquid culture. I'm not a fan of opening the lids of liquid cultures because they're often on there very well and you have to dig your fingernails into the side. And I just feel like that's a vector for contamination as opposed to keeping it completely sealed at all times. So this one has been labeled, it has been sterilized, and it's ready to have a filter added to it, as well as the inoculate. So first thing you do, you know, uh, spray down anything that might have spores or contaminants on it, anything that might uh, kind of cause some airborne stuff. I kind of like to work with my hands wetted with alcohol, but I don't think that's necessary. It's just paranoia. Um, so, these have been sterilized. This has also been sterilized. It's currently under vacuum. So when I add this, we'll see air rush into it. And that's a good sign because it means that the lid is properly sealed. Now, I'll take a sterile syringe. Make sure nothing's in front of the laminar flow. You can obviously do this in a still air box pretty effectively and I have my needle ready to use. And what I do is use this as a little punch, pull a light vacuum on it, and I'll do that a few times. And there you go. You have the little tiny cores of auger in here that have the mycelium on it. Now you just have to add the needle and not pulling. Obviously it's not easy to squeeze a teeny tiny core of auger back into it or back into the liquid uh, solution. So I'll suck some back up. I'll squeeze it in suck some back up again, just in case. Looks like I got them all. And pull it out. And sure enough, I can see tiny little uh, circular discs of auger. And this is an octopus. Now you just have to wait. And it should be good to eat. 